I believe all them nice days that was in the 70 degrees is over with now, guys. It's cold, nippy, and yeah! Well, today, I want to talk a little bit about something that happened last night to my wife and I and my son Damien. I want to talk about scam artists. Yeah, scam artists. Now, we all had issues with people scamming us, correct? We've got them on the telephone. You see them out all the time around Christmas. Every time you turn around, there's usually somebody trying to scam you, especially at big stores, right? You've guys seen it, haven't you? And before I tell you what happened, let me kind of paint the story a little bit. Back a couple weeks ago, I was in Facebook and I read, be careful, there's scam artists up there in Lowe's and Kroger's parking lot. Now, our Lowe's and Kroger's share the same parking lot. And so there's people walking around scamming you for money. Gave a description of the people. I believe there were only two. And even told you exactly how they're, what they're saying. What their, what their scam is. Exactly. Now, you would think we would remember that, wouldn't you? Now, last night, my brother came over. And by the way, I want to stop for a minute. Uh, my brother Paul is one of my newest people that's been watching me. And I want to give him a shout out. Hey, bro. How's it going? All right. Now, back to where we was. After my brother left, my wife went to Lowe's. Well, she kind of goofed up on something. We had to go right back. I went back because I needed a light for my, um, my green screen, right? Now, we get into the store. And we're going to have to stop for a minute. Because... I need my daughter's help for this one, and she's right now saying it's cold and I'm eating, so I gotta get her motivated, but we'll be back and I'll finish the story for you. Yeah? Okay, I'm back. Did you miss me? Well, that's okay. I didn't miss me either. But anyway, we're in Lowe's, and I'm looking at the lights. This might like, well, this one might work. This might work. Now, out of the corner of my eye, I seen the lady, the scammer, Walk on past the, the aisle we was in, then turn around and come back. So she went up, past the aisle, then come back. Now, okay, freeze. Now look at her. Does this look like a scam artist to you? Nice hair. Nice coat. Doesn't really smell. Well, scratch that part, but this isn't a scam artist. At least I don't think so. Do you guys? So right off the bat, I didn't think anything of it. She comes up, you know, every scammer has to have something to break the ice. Well, she comes up like she's got a question. Hi. Hello. Excuse me? Yes. Are you guys uh, from around here? Uh, actually, yes, we are from the next town over. Now, see, that right there breaks the ice, okay? I'm thinking she's going to want directions. Right, lady? Yes. Directions okay. to your pocket. Well, see, I'm not supposed to know that right now. But I'm thinking she's wanting directions, so come on. I'm still not, you know, thrown off. But in the back of my mind, I'm wondering something. And I'm wondering what I read on Facebook might be true. Right now, she's getting ready to tell me that she's lost and she don't know how to get back home, right? And I've been here for a while and my car's actually out of gas and... <sighs> Ding! That's one of the things I remember from Facebook. You are taller than me with some heels on. Well, let's get back to the story. Now, it's one of the things I remember from Facebook. That was one of the things. They're going to say they're out of gas. And let's see if she says if her wallet, if she left it at home. And someone actually took my wallet. And I'm so alone. There you go. And I even think she had a tear come down her face. Now, in the back of my mind, I was like, this is a scam. My wife's sitting there. It's because you're paranoid. Butterflies around her head because my wife's just There's good like that. There is, in the there, there really is. It's awesome. And she's sitting there just listening this whole thing up, and I'm sitting there like, Mom's okay. Mom's mind is a wonderful place. I'm, I know this is a scam. Wait a minute, you ain't supposed to be my daughter. You're supposed to be the scammer. So. I'm sorry. So I'm sitting there like, what do I say? What do I say? What do I say? And before it was all said and done, 
before anything else I knew, I seen this coming out. I've been sleeping in my car. I hope this helps. Thank you so much. A dollar, really? How cheap are you? Now, the second I gave her that dollar, the very second, she was like, Bye. Gone. Correction, I didn't give her the money. My wife did. It was more than just a dollar. It was actually two dollars. I'm gonna need that back, by the way. Uh-uh, I'm a scam artist. I'm keeping this. I'm using it for gas. Because I live in Fairyland, where gas costs a dollar. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much what happened. Now, me thinking 100% I got scammed, and I'm sure other people, and I know other people in the store got scammed, I'm thinking the manager will have basically some kind of record. Because in the back of my mind, I'll think about it. Could that story have been true? We all think that. You know, in the back of our mind, we got that little voice. Maybe they're telling the truth. You lost a dollar. Two dollars. But in the back of our mind, we're still wondering, could there be an ounce of truth in that? And if there is, by all means, you want to help them, right? It's not like it's twenty dollars. I mean, I take this much from you every day. I mean, what? Well, anyway, I go to the manager. Pardon me, sir. I think I just got scammed. Did a lady come up and borrow money off you? And did she use the excuse that she's out of gas? And I was like, yeah. He gave a description of the lady. I was like, yeah. He says, you got scammed. He apologized all over. He says, like, where did she go? I said, she darted away fast. Probably went out to the parking lot to change shirts to come back in and scam another sucker, right? If she was really smart, she would have been going to her car to change not only her shirt, but her entire outfit. Because the best scam artist knows you don't hit the same place twice in a row. I swear I'm not a scam artist. So after the manager went out in the parking lot to see if we could find the young lady, she was long gone. And more than likely, she was changing her shirt or whatever, so she'd go to Kroger's and hit them. This has been going on for a while, evidently. So the way Angie looked at it is, you know what? She needed the $2 more than we did. So we drive on over to Walmart. Yeah, we still had some more shopping, right? We go into Walmart. We do our shopping. We come out. We get in the car. We go to drive away, and Angie's like, Michael, isn't that that lady? So I cut around this aisle, or not aisle, cut around this corner, went around this corner, and I caught myself. Right outside my window, there stood that old scam artist. She looked at me with the funniest look and literally ran off. Ran off. And I'm not going to follow her, and Angie must have thought I was going to chase her down. I said, no, it ain't worth two bucks, and... You know, the woman's scared as it is, and it's just two freaking dollars. So needless to say, that was the scam that happened last night. Evidently, this lady was working Lowe's, Kroger's, and Walmart. Yeah. I stand by the fact that it's only two dollars. It's not like you need it. What is in my pocket? It's true. It was only two oh. bucks. But the moral of the story is, Safety when you get test. scammed... Are you 100% sure you're being scammed? Or is that little voice in the back of your mind saying, this may be real? This may be real. Because I hope each and every one of us, at least I do, and I'm sure most of you guys do, have it in you to help that person in need. Even if everything in your head is saying, scam! You still got that little voice. So with that being said, yeah. So I'm asking you guys, leave a comment down below. I know you've been scammed. If you haven't ever been scammed, then you're lucky. And if you have been scammed, tell me what it was. Leave something down below. But anyway, guys, I want to mention a couple things, you know, that we kind of forgot about. Yeah, we did. Do you remember Izzy's day for videoing? Oops. We kind of haven't had another Izzy's day, have we? First of all, my day would literally consist of me being online like 24-7, but that's not the point. What about the dares for Bubba? Because I had like three really good ones. These are things we kind of forgot about. Now, the dare thing we got put on the back burner because of her hitting a deer, and we just never got back to it. I thought. And the day for Izzy, I did ask her a few times. I said, you want to do a video? You want to do a video? And... My daughter is one busy young lady. Now, I do have another idea. Now, this will happen. She knows nothing about it. I'm going to ask you guys a question. Would you like 
Izzy and I to make a video and answer questions. Just one video, you can ask us almost any question you want, and we will answer them. And we will even go back in some of the older comments and grab some of them questions out. Like, one of the questions the other day was, Bubba, Izzy, do 10-minute videos. So that's one of the questions we can answer. That's and we would dedicate one day, because I've never done this before. A really good idea. I've never done this before. I don't know if it's going to kill my channel hey, or, Izzy, or if you guys will like it freaking cold. Well, you guys tell me, would you like for us to dedicate that day? And if that's a yes, put your questions down below. Maybe it be doesn't nice. have to just be a day a week, maybe one video. Well, it'd be it'd be one shot here, okay? Let's start we'll off small. And would you guys ask the questions? Be nice. Come on, guys. Don't be dirty, please. You know, just come on. Come on, come on, come on. But anyway... Put the questions down below, we put them in a notepad, and we will make a video. Or we can just read them off the computer like normal people and not care. No, it's not fun that way. But we will read them off and answer them. Now this video might actually be 10 minutes, just saying. But anyway guys, I am One Bubba Mike One. Oh hi, I ran into that. I'm Izzy. And yeah, and real quick before I leave here, Paul, if you watch this video, thumbs up bro. Love you. Alright, I'm out of here. Just saying. If you like today's video, hit that like button. If you're brand spanking new to my videos, subscribe. Sometimes we have okay videos. This may be one of them times. Until next time, come on, 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 come on. Let's just get out of here.